Calculate the KSP for aluminum hydroxide or ALOH3, considering the max concentration is 0.0001 grams per 100 milliliters of H2O. What we're going to do is convert this per liters of H2O so we know how much precipitate will be formed. So if we multiply this by 10, you'll get 0.001 grams per liter of H2O. That means for one liter of H2O, you'll precipitate or you'll have 0.001 grams of aluminum hydroxide. So taking this into consideration, we'll multiply by the molar mass. The molar mass of aluminum hydroxide is 78 grams. This is per one mole. And this will equal to 1.282 times 10 to the negative fifth moles. So this is the amount of moles per, or this is how many moles in ALOH3. So now we can consider that since we're dividing it by a liter, we'll have the same molarity. So we'll have 1.282 times 10 to the negative fifth molar of ALOH3 because we're dividing by one liter, so we don't have to change anything. And now since AL and OH3, they have different ratios to the entire compound, we'll have to multiply by different molar masses. So for AL, we know AL to AL OH3 is a one to one ratio. So we don't have to change anything with this molarity. It's 1.282 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. On the other hand, OH, OH it has a three to one ratio to the entire compound. So we'll have to multiply this by three. So that becomes 3.846 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. To find KSP, what we're gonna do is multiply the concentration of AL and the concentration of OH. But this is to the third power because we have three OHs in one ALOH3. So using this AL, we know is 1.282 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. We'll do that. And hydroxide is 3.846 times 10 to the negative fifth. And this is to the third power. Putting this into our calculator, our final answer should be something like 7.293 times 10 to the negative 19. And remember that KSP is a constant value, so you aren't supposed to have any units with KSP.